Welcome back to the BeerCritic.com TV. A funky episode of BeerCritic.com TV. I'm Scott. And I'm um, the Funk Meister. That's right. And I can't wait. Why is it a, an, an especially funky day here, Brendan? Today is a especially funky day because we have a special release beer. I know. From Funky Buddha Very excited. Brewing Company called Maple Bacon Porter. Yes. I was hoping you were going to finish coffee it. Coffee porter. I was hoping you were going to finish coffee it a little porter. bit better. Maple that. bacon coffee porter. Well, let's try it again. Funky Buddha. We, we got a maple bacon <gasps> coffee porter. We'll try it one more time. We've got a maple bacon <laughs> coffee porter. There we go. Yes. Can't wait to try it. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to give you the background on this in a second. Okay. Just want to tell you a little bit about Funky Buddha Brewing Company, based out of Oakland. This is our Park, Florida. Funky potato head. Yeah, that was the closest thing I could find to a, to a, to a Buddha, Buddha doll. And it, it just it's sacrilegious, isn't it? That I could yeah. actually reuse. <laughs> <laughs> so, All right. But Tell fun, us about the Funky Buddha. Funky Buddha started around 2007. Uh, it originally started as a, a Buddha and tea house, expanded into a loungy craft beer serving place. Uh, they served a lot of craft beer. So in 2007, down here in Florida, people serving craft beer. That was probably hookah and unique. Tea? Hookah, yeah, hookah, okay. hookah, yeah, hookah and tea, uh, hookah and tea bar. Um, it became very popular. Uh, the owner Ryan Sands decided to branch out, start making his own stuff. That became super popular, right? So they, um, 2010 is when they branched out. Yeah. They toasted glasses then. Okay. Very successful. Had to branch out again. Um, well, that's always a good thing, branching out. In, in 2013. But, get this. In 2010, they, they started, within a year, yeah. this beer, this maple bacon coffee porter, yeah. w- was ranked number one on thebeeradvocate.com. Wow. Uh, yeah. That's an accomplishment. That is an accomplishment. And wow. in that same time frame, within a year, they, they, they jumped to number 27 brewery in the world. According to Rapier. So that is like a, a huge wow. accomplishment. So I can't, I can't, yeah. not only can I wait to taste this beer, I can't wait to get up there and, and taste all of their beers. But Well, it's over there. It's actually directly, it's uh, on the east coast of Florida, right by Fort Lauderdale. By Fort Lauderdale, yeah. So <clears throat> they had becoming so popular again. Now they started out with like a 40 gallon, then they went to a 55 gallon. Yeah. They, they're eventually going to get to a 120 barrel. Yeah, right, yeah. and uh, they opened up the new brewery in 2013. That's the one where they're at now. Yeah, in Oakland. That's yeah. the new one in Oakland, and they have future plans. Um, they they're going to continue to distribute to uh, to uh, restaurants, sure. stores, and and bars in the area. But what they're looking to hope to continue is to get a canned. They're actually they're looking. So, they're uh, looking they to distribute. package. Yeah, they're yeah, looking to. Yeah. They got a packaging line. I'm sorry, right. packaging line and planning stages to produce 12 ounce bottles and cans. Awesome. So that's in the works. Of so, what beer though? Oh, oh their flagship beers. Flagship like, beers. Yeah, okay. the flagship beers. Because okay. this is a special release beer. Okay. Now, so this is still going to be hard, if not impossible, to get. I would. I would hope so, because apparently, because of its popularity. Okay. So and and right now listed on the site, it's listed as a, a special release beer. Okay. And we're very fortunate because uh, John Lynn over. The marketing director over there gave us a bottle of it. <clears throat> said, you, "Go to town, taste it. Let let us know right, what well, you think do about it, it." Yeah. This beer was actually um, released not too long ago, actually, uh, probably within the last couple of months. They had three thousand people show up at the brewery, and it was only two thousand bottles. Ooh. Yeah. So, so a thousand people just had to thousand. settle with something else, <laughs> settle for some other beer that they had there. So that, that yeah, he told me that. So I was I was very excited when I got it, and then to hear about how how popular it is in terms of uh, yeah. okay uh, the maple, maple bacon. All right, so here we go. Maple bacon story. Maple bacon. Porter. The maple bacon coffee porter was initially released in the spring of 2011. All right, um, let's see what they say. It. Pours an opaque ebony with a frothy tan head. Mm. Aromas of sticky maple syrup and fresh brewed coffee creep forth from the glass. Ooh. The mouthfeel is a luxuriously creamy, 
with layers of sweet malt and roast giving way to waves of smoke, coffee, and dark salted chocolate. More, tell me more. The finish is sticky, rich, and sweet with flavors of maple oh. syrup lingering All right. pleasantly on the tongue. All right, you want to open it? Enjoy a deep, wide glass. We're not doing deep. Well, it's deep. Uh, it's not uh, wide. With good friends. <laughs> and maybe... Call a, somebody. And maybe a short <laughs> stack on the side. <laughs> oh, we got one. Yeah. This is a All short right. stack. There we go. Very unassuming cap. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Great. Smells good? It smells like a maple barn. Wow, I, that's just that's just like smoke Ooh, and maple man. syrup, right? All right, yep. I'm gonna do a, a little bit of aggressive yeah. pour. No, we we've had the rogue maple bacon. And yeah, was, we did a uh, the rogue was a maple bacon chocolate stout or I don't remember oh, now. Some, oh yeah, there was chocolate in it too. Because it was it was based on that that donut company, right? Yes, it was a maple bacon. Oof, this, well, it, it was it was their really, flagship. Oh. Yeah. Whoop. Okay. It was this. So we'll be right. back in about ten minutes, so I could drink this. Well, you know, I want to want to give it justice, man. I want to give it a nice pour. Look at that, man. Look at that thing. Look at that. That is a. Oh, the smell is really. Yeah, that's that's, that's pitch black. That's I mean, like, that's that's ebony. <laughs> I mean, ebony. if you're gonna call something yeah. ebony, that's yeah. ebony. That's ebony. And then this is kind of the ivory, That's, right? Yeah. Ebony and ivory? No. It looks like a chocolate milk it head. Looks, yeah. A chocolate milk head. Yeah, that, it's, it's got that, oh. like, espresso. The smell is actually... Uh, it's like everything. You, you definitely get that smoke. You get and smoky. There's, but bacon, it's really maple. heavy maple. Sweet, yeah. Are you ready to go into it? I can't yet. Okay. I well, can't. I love, I love a... Of a mustache. No, you'll be able to get through it. Yeah? I think so. That is something else, man. That smells awesome. Go ahead. Right, go, go, go. Right. I'm always the first one that jumps in. You go this time. Oh, wow. There is a chocolate. Yeah? Oh, absolutely. Wow. All right. It does start sweet. You get the maple syrup sweetness in the beginning. Um, and you get chocolate. Like a bittersweet chocolate. Oh my god. And then you kind of get that smokiness in the back end of it. Holy Wow. And the finish is almost like salty piece of bacon. Yeah. Hmm. Yep. Kind of gets you in the back of the back of the tongue. But that oh the maple syrup sweetness stays in the front of your tongue almost the entire time. Like it kind of just stays with you the entire the entire sip. This is a complete 180 from the rogue. Mm -hmm. The rogue was like yeah. the rogue somebody was, took. I, a, I don't know. The rogue felt like more of a novelty thing. Yeah, it was I, I mean, that, rogue is a fantastic they got a, brewery. That's a brewery, yeah. But this was like, okay, this is how you're supposed to do yeah, it. Yeah, you know what did, I mean. Yeah, like if you're gonna do it, do it right. And these guys did it right. Holy crap! The smoke is a lot more smoke in the nose than there is in the flavor for me. I'm not getting. I, I don't get a whole lot of bacon, but I do get. Or I get coffee. The I get kind that of porter. That, like, I like mean, I definitely get that sweet, chocolate. The, that sweet maple, you get that sweet maple-y taste, but you don't, it's not overbearing. No. Because it comes in with that yeah. coffee, it comes yeah. in with... There's a little bit of that, smoky, like, and then you smoky get, coffee. Yeah, very, the bacon's very light. I got a lot of chocolate, light. though. I oh, got yeah. a lot of that, like, bittersweet chocolate. Yeah, this is like, this is almost like a, a an iced coffee. Thought so, what's tough, though, is this, I mean, you got, it's kind of, just like with our Heady Topper review. Yeah. You kind of have to be close to the brewery in order to get this. Yeah. We happen yeah, to live get... in the same state, but, I mean, if you don't live close, you're not getting it yeah. until they decide to, like... And eventually, something this good, it has to it has to finally make it into stores. There's no way that it won't. Yeah. I it's can just... see why this was... The Great American Beer Festival, they picked up on this one, huh? Oh, yeah. Wasn't that article yeah. we read? Nope. Yeah. Holy crap. When something I'm, I'm, eats, you know. I'm so pleasantly surprised. I'm glad. I'm too. This and I'm not really, really a good. porter guy. No, like, I, I, don't, I, I, I do like, like coffee, stout. though. I do, too. I'm not like a stout and porter guy, but damn. Yeah, this is this is really smooth, easy to drink. Great for breakfast. 
Oh, I could I could definitely have pancakes in this. There's no question. I know. I'll have pour it on my pancakes, maybe. Yeah. I don't. I couldn't do eggs though, but pancakes wow. definitely. It's and they they call it a diner breakfast in a glass, and it really is. Oh yeah, it is. It's the entire breakfast. Yeah. The coffee, the bacon, the pancakes, and the syrup. Well, no pancakes, but the syrup. Pretty cool. All right. Yep. So there you have it. Excellent. Funky John, thank you. Buddha. <clears throat> Oh, what's their website? Is it on here? Uh, FunkyBuddhaBrewery.com. 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 All right. Yep, there yeah. it is. Funky Buddha Brewery. Yep. Fantastic. Cool. That was a great job. All right, so uh, check us out online at thefacebook.com. At the Facebook? I thought well, they dropped it's, the it's, it's the only Facebook. I thought they dropped it. So it's the like you can, because it's a thing, you can just say the Facebook. Facebook.com forward slash the beer critic. YouTube.com forward slash the beer critic tv and on twitter and instagram instagram and all that all that good stuff and if you check us out on social media you'll see that we're doing a very special homebrew situation yes. happening there yep. um so we'll have we'll have some news on that coming up yep. on social media we got a little video of us doing our thing so it was a lot of fun so uh, we'll see it's how not, that it's goes it's not gonna be like this no <laughs> it's not but so, why'd you put right. a cat back on because I want to have some later. I don't want all, don't want all the fizz to escape. No, all right. All right, guys. <clears throat> Thank you. If you're in the Florida area, if you're in the Oakland area, please stop by Funky Buddha Brewing. Yeah. Uh, you will not be disappointed. They, they got a lot of beers. They've got a lot of beers. Yeah. They, got a, um, they have specialty beers. I don't know if you're going to be there what time, but they do have specialty beers that come out throughout the year, and then they have their, their straight-up line. So yeah. you, uh, you definitely won't be disappointed. Yeah. You know, they have live music, entertainment, they are a they are a fun bunch, so. Would you say they were funky? I'd say they are definitely funky, all and right. this is without all this right. is like right. funky smooth. All right, so cheers, everybody. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>